we're, we're good to rock and roll. SEC, stealing everyone's cash. I am suing Ginsler for being a security. These comments highlight the fact that Gary Ginsler's predatory nature is fast becoming a pain in the ass. The recent happenings in the crypto world have carved a different image of the SEC chair, as every cryptocurrency now sniffs like a security. And for Ginsler, securities are red flags. Right from 2021, Securities and Exchange Commission Chairman Gary Ginsler has been working on tougher rules for high-speed trading firms, private equity managers, mutual funds, and online brokerages. Mr. Ginsler, less than six months in the job, claimed that he wanted to make the capital markets less costly for companies raising money, as well as for ordinary investors saving for retirement. His main targets were what he called profits and salaries earned above what purely competitive markets would allow, known as economic rents. I hope that we address and try to lower the economic rents in our capital markets, Mr. Ginsler said. But right now, his emphasis is greatly on cryptocurrencies. The SEC's war on crypto rages as the regulator recently filed civil charges today against Bittrex for operating as a national securities exchange without being properly registered. It's not over until it's over though, as Bittrex has finally fallen prey to the SEC's predatory site. The SEC announced that it was charging Bittrex and former CEO William Shihara for allegedly operating unregistered national security exchange, broker, and clearing agency. And if that wasn't enough, the SEC is also suing Bittrex for an affiliate, Bittrex Global, for failing to register as a national securities exchange. In its complaint, the SEC stated that Bittrex facilitated the buying and selling of cryptocurrencies, which the agency believes to be securities, including OMG, Dash, Algo, TKN, NGC, and IHT. According to the SEC, Bittrex and Shihara instructed the teams behind these cryptocurrencies to scrub problematic statements they had openly made in the past, which they believe could compel the attention of the regulatory agency, such as the SEC itself. Price predictions, expectations of profit, and other investment-related systems were ordered for a deletion before the assets could be listed on Bittrex. Today's action, yet again, makes plain that the crypto markets suffer from a lack of regulatory compliance not a lack of regulatory clarity. As alleged in our complaint, Bittrex and issuers that it's worked with knew the rules that applied to them, but went to great lengths to evade them by directing issuer applicants to scrub offering materials of information indicating that certain crypto assets were securities, Gary Gensler stated. Well, Bittrex is not a saint, and somehow this move was expected. Perhaps we need to flip the past and figure out something. In 2017, there were complaints about Bittrex Exchange disabling user accounts for no apparent reason. One consistent theme in every complaint is that users attempted to open tickets and even sought help on the exchange's Slack, only to be ignored and banned respectively. Back then, a user complained that he had 6 Bitcoins in his Bittrex account and no longer had access to his funds and equally received zero answers to his support tickets. Another user commented, My Bittrex account is disabled for more than 3 days without any warning or announcement. Their support does not answer anything. It was extremely preposterous for an exchange to suddenly disable thousands of accounts without any announcement or replies to support tickets, and it was even weirder that Bittrex was banning people from asking for help. But okay fine, since we have decided to bring a blast from the past, then Gary Gensler equal has a suspicious story. A 4 year old video of Gary Gensler giving praise to smart contract platform Algorand has shown up its ugly head and is recently circulating on Twitter following the SEC declaring that Algo is an unregistered security. Leo McCallie's Algorand. Uh, he's a professor over in the Computer Science and AI Lab, a Turing Award winner. He's got a company that has an interesting thing. It's like a jury selection. It's like picking somebody for the jury uh, that's, that's picking this short group of 12 nodes that might do something. Uh, and every block has that selection process, but then there's another broader group that then can check the work of the jury. So often there's kind of a second uh, automated way uh, because trust isn't there, ensuring that there's a quick second check. Did they decide guilty or, or innocent correctly, uh, so to speak? Uh, again, I apologize if I'm a little oversimplifying Silvio's brilliant work, but it's... It turns out that Gensler's predatory nature is graced with crooked claims. It's more comfortable to say that his former words are inconsistent with his recent actions. 
In the video, Gensler referred to Algorand as a great technology while he was contemplating whether a high-performance smart contract network would be capable of integrating an Uber or Lyft-like application on its platform. However, Algos won the six tokens that Gensler recently claimed was an unregistered security in the SEC's lawsuit against Bittrex that took issue with Algorand's foundation initial coin offering, or ICO for short, of Algo in June of 2019. Trust this video gets plenty of reactions. A cryptocurrency researcher, Mason Verselius, was the first one to highlight the video in an April 17 tweet criticizing Gensler for shilling Algo, with others calling out the SEC chair for his apparent hypocrisy. Oh yes, that's the accurate word, hypocrisy. Gary Gensler was shilling dollar algo and is now trying to call it a security. This dude is all over the place and he's gotta go, he tweeted. Gensler's open acknowledgement of Algorand was heard by an audience at a Massachusetts Institute of Technology Fintech Beyond Crisis conference held on April 25th, 2019. Back then, Gensler worked as a professor of global economics and management at MIT, and he praised former MIT colleague and Algorand founder Silvio McCauley in his speech. Uh, Silvio McCauley's Algorand, uh, who's a uh, Turing Award winner at, at MIT that I work with. Um, Silvio's got a great technology that has a performance you could create Uber on top of it. In sharing the video on Twitter, a user known as at Little Moon Lambo asked whether Gensler would be hit with a fine now that the SEC ruled that Algorand is a security similar to the $1.26 million fine Kim Kardashian paid with her promotion of Ethereum Max, a cryptocurrency. Gary Gensler has been promoted Algorand for years. Now that the SEC has ruled Algorand as a security, is he going to get hit with the same $1.26 million fine that he gave to Kim Kardashian, he tweeted. However, the premise of the SEC charges brought against Kardashian centered on the idea that she was paid a significant amount of money to promote Ethereum Max on her Instagram account without disclosing that information to her followers. There was also an undisclosed exchange of money for exposure, so it is different than Gensler's actions. Accompanying the lawsuit, Gensler released a video on the topic of celebrity promotion, warning America's investing public that celebrity endorsements don't mean that an endorsement product is right for you, or even frankly legitimate. On the other hand, Fox Business reporter Eleanor Turret expected Gensler to be questioned over his Algorand comments in the testimony before the U.S. House Committee on Financial Services on April 18th. Furthermore, Bittrex Global responded to the civil lawsuit by claiming that it never served any U.S. customers and had taken pains to forbid U.S. residents from using the exchange. It also blamed the SEC for not seeking to engage with the company before suing. A post read, Bittrex Global is willing to work productively with the SEC, as we do with all regulators, to explain our position. It has become clear that the SEC is not interested in such discussions. Now, Congressman Warren Davidson, our Ohio, is introducing legislation targeted at replacing Gary Gensler. The congressman took to Twitter to respond to a quote from the SEC commissioner, Hester Pierce, who recently announced her dissent against Chair Gensler's anti-crypto agenda. To correct a long series of abuses, I am introducing legislation that removes the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission and replaces the role with an executive director that reports to the board where authority resides. Former chairs of the SEC are ineligible, he said. Commissioner Pierce had slammed the regulatory agency for proposing an adjustment to the definition of exchange to include decentralized finance protocols. This was not how things were done. Stagnation, centralization, expatriation, and extinction are the watchwords of this release. Rather than embrace the promise of new technology as we have done in the past, here we propose to embrace stagnation, force capitalization, urge expiation, and welcome the extinction of a new technology, she said. But amid this ruckus, Coinbase CEO is painting an optimistic picture about the future of crypto. Brian Armstrong recently commented on the usability of cryptocurrencies and retweeted a thread from a Twitter user and Goldfinch CEO, Blake West, in which he talked about his frustration with the people that say that cryptocurrencies don't have many uses. So even in the raging storm initiated by the SEC, crypto remains a winner, at least for now. Good point, there's actually quite a lot of usage beyond speculation and getting the two to 300 million people who have tried crypto in a decade is really good. If this growth rate continues, it'll be at two to three billion in 10 years, roughly similar to internet adoption. The key unlocks will be scalability, Armstrong said. Armstrong also emphasized that cryptocurrencies have a lot of usage beyond speculation. He said that getting two to 300 million people to try cryptocurrencies is good. In addition, it mentioned that if the growth rate continues, there will be two to three billion people in 10 years. Armstrong also compared it to the adoption of the internet, and that's definitely the spirit of things. 
The fate of crypto may look like it's wrapped around the decisions of the SEC headed by the supposedly hypocritical Gary Gensler. But beyond the surface, something huge is coming. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you hit the subscribe notification buttons and we'll see you in the next video.